Hi there. This is going to be a quick video on updates on Bazite OS and how they work and how it's very useful. So here I am on the Bazite website, and if we scroll down to this one section here, there's a section called Fearless Updates. And you might be wondering what does this even mean, right? But basically, Bazite has a system in place where you could roll back your Bazite operating system to any version of the operating system in the past 90 days. So if you ever run into an issue, an OS update causes a problem, you always go back to your previous version of the operating system or any version of the operating system from the past 90 days and it'll replicate it like exactly which means that you effectively have cloud backups of your operating system which is pretty neat and you could delve into the details here in this rollback and rebasing document that is on the official bazite discourse but i'm going to illustrate it with this um, very simple um, rollback helper, this experimental rollback helper that will make it a little easier to um, understand and wrap your head around it. But you can read about the details here. This helper is basically just everything that's discussed in this document. So I've already have it installed. So if I type in Bazite rollback helper, it'll show you the usage of how to use it, the tool. And in this case, what we're going to want to do is just to show all the available versions of Bazite you could install. I'm just going to run this command, which is the Bazite rollback helper list stable, right? And this will just show us all the images available that we could roll back to. So th this is the latest stable, which is from 0415. But you could, all, you could go all the way back to any version of Bazite from late January till now, which makes sense because it's three months, 90 days of operating system versions. And if you want to see your current version, you could do Bazite rollback helper current. And this will just show you your current operating system version. So I am on 2024.03.29. As you might have been able to tell, this is not the latest version of Bazite. And that's because on the 0415 version, there is actually a Bluetooth bug for my device. So I decided I don't want it. I'm going to roll back for now and report the bug and wait for a bug fix. So I roll back to the 0329 version. And to do that rollback, all you got to do is type in Bazite rollback helper rebase, and then you need that version number that you want to go back to. So in this case, 2024.03.29, right? So if I copy that, paste this here, it will prompt you for a rollback, and I would just type in yes, and it would continue the rollback. In this case, since I've already done the rollback, I don't need to. But one thing you should be aware of is that if you are on, let's say, the Bazite Deck Gnome image or the Bazite Deck Ally image, you need to, instead of putting in just the version number, you need to put in the version number, but before it, you need to put the image type as well. So I do Bazite deck, let's say Bazite deck gnome. If I did this, it would prompt you on if you want to rebase to that version of, of Bazite. In my case, I don't, but depending on the device, you might be using a different image. So just be aware that you might need to manually set that. Now, let's say later on, um, the bug got fixed and you no longer need to be on that old version like I am right now. Then all I would need to do is take that same command, whether it be you know Bazite Deck Gnome or whatever it might be, and that version number, just change it back to stable. And if you deploy this and rebase, you'll go right back to regular updates and you'll go back to the latest version of Bazite. So in my case, I'm going to just stick around on the 2024.0329 image and just wait until um, the bugs get fixed. You could go back to regular updates once everything is fixed again, easy. So one other neat thing about Bazite is that it actually has two copies of your operating system installed at any given time. So you could see this if I type in RPM OS tree status, you can see there's two copies of Bazite installed. There's the 0329, which is my current Bazite image that I'm running. And then there's this 0415 image in my case, right? And you can see which one is the active one by the little dot at the, at the front. And basically having two operating systems installed at the same time different versions, right? What makes this really powerful is that, let's say you do a system update, you update the operating system, it will install to your not active operating system. So it'll install here, it'll overwrite the 0415 image with whatever image you decide. So if I had done the rebase, if I had done something like 39, I don't know, um, 20, 24, 0220, right? This is like an image from February. If I had done this rebase, it would install it to the second non-active version of the operating system. And then when you reboot, it'll just boot straight into that copy. And you might think, what's the point? 
what, ha what could happen is that let's say you rebase and it turns out that image is broken on your device, right? Well, because there's two versions of the operating system installed, your old version will still be there. Like it'll still be there, it'll still be functional, there'll be no issues with it. So all you gotta do is you do RFPM OS tree, rollback, and all that will do is just switch you back to the old operating system version, the one that you already have installed. So you lose nothing, everything will be fully working still, right? So basically, because of this two, because you have two copies of the operating system, you never have to worry about accidentally updating to a version that's broken. Because worst case scenario, oh, you updated to a broken image, but your old operating system is still there. It's still present. All you have to do is type in RPM OS tree rollback and you go right back to your previous version of the operating system. It's that easy. So this makes it basically risk-free for to do an operating system update or lots of different updates or change things and you'll be fine. And that's why if you go back to the Bazite website, it says fearless updates. The idea is that you never have to worry about an operating system update messing something up because worst case scenario, your old version of the OS will always be there waiting for you to go back. Anyways, quick video today. And that's it for me.